So guys, it's your favorite ginger here coming at you with another video. Before you watch this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and make sure you titty slap that notifications button. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Team, it is very early in the morning. Just gone six. Chanel's got work. I need to take my photos before she goes to work. Today, I'm on a really tight schedule because I start work at one, and I know that takes the fucking piss. Don't ever start work that early, but there's good reason someone's on annual leave, and, I, and it's the only way because I was like, I ain't fucking starting. But it's the only way. It doesn't matter. I've got to get all my shit done, so I'm going to show you how to get your shit done. We're on a tight schedule today. Anyway, I'm going to draw my coffee. Uh, I've just weighed myself in. I'm 2.13. I haven't been to the toilet yet. So I'm going to have a little bit of a coffee. And then we're going to go to the toilet. We'll see what we are. But we'll probably take my photos. Anyway, let's crack on. Taking her to work for seven. And it's not even fucking light yet. Look at that. Fucking hell. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to need, I need a fart. Oh, fucking hell. Hey! Back in for another Bulking Series Mini Cut Edition 4.0. What's going on? Pretty good. So, no weighing on camera today. As you've seen, I got up fucking early, didn't I? Take the old growler to fucking work. Obviously, my movements are where I usually would get up because that's consistent. When I went to bed, I didn't get to bed any earlier. I just had to get up earlier. On the scale, it was 213 before a poo. However, yesterday, we weighed ourselves 212.7. So, but that was in the bathroom. You've got to remember, like, which I, try to, I like to keep it consistent. I look tighter, we use the pictures, do you know what I mean? But you, 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 you'll, you'll see it in a minute. Um, but that's something, obviously, you take into account when we are getting up earlier, because usually I'll never really have to get up any earlier than half seven. And so usually, you know, I'll get up like 10 to eight. 8 o'clock, yeah. and my movements are usually just after 8, so I wake up, I take my morning pills, and I'm like, fucking hell, I've got to go to a toilet, as you usually see on the videos. So, we've got the big ring light out, can you see it? It looks good, doesn't it? We're going to get stuck into these photos, going to go throughout the week, see how it's going. It's really weird that I'm doing this at like fucking 8 o'clock. I've had my pre-workout meal, so pre-workout meal's got in, I'm going to train earlier today. We'll go into that in a bit. Let's get into these photos. Today I posed with no mirror. Something I'm going to incorporate into some of my check-in photos when we're doing our check-ins. Just so I get used to posing leading up going into the stage in September. Now you're probably thinking, Josh, that's like just under, under a year. If I can practice it every week for 11 months and lead up to the show, probably be more. I'm going to be ready, aren't I? So when I'm posing on the stage, you've got the judges. You ain't got a mirror. To know where you are. So remember that if you're bodybuilding. Front relax pose, boom. As you can see, more lines, more talking. Going on to the cruise has done fuck all. Everything's pretty good here. We're still looking sharp. We haven't fucking lost our body comp at all or anything. So we're still looking good. The pose is a little bit off where I'm posing. Obviously didn't have the mirror. And how we took it, we had the big light that's washing me out. You'll see that I move my angles in some of these poses. Because I got washed out completely by the light. So if you've got sunglasses, you might need them. Moving to our side pose. Our quarter angle, so our quarter turn. As you can see, everything's the same as last week. The trap's popping. Everything looks pretty good. So the light is fucking blinding. We're moving to the back pose. This is probably where we're going to see the most amount of progression we've seen uh, in this week. You can see, obviously, the back is looking actually quite juicy. Uh, you can see a lot, a lot more what's going on, where the shape is. And... We're in a good position. We are literally just holding into a great position. Um, the numbers in in training are all going up. So I'm still progressing if that be load or if that be weight. Um, sorry, if that be load or if that be reps. Moving to our next our other side pose. This is the this this quarter turn I really need to work on. As you can see, I'm not opening my body but uh, body up as much. So I've really tried to work on that. If you look through the videos, you see that I'm working on it. So it's important that we can do this in off-season, because when it comes to prep, it will be fucking like. Do you know what I mean? Like tying your shoelaces, boff. And it goes a long way on the stage. Front last spread, as you can see, lines in the legs, a little bit bright, so if you need sunglasses, put them on. But you can see more shape going on, so we're in a still good position, like we were last week. Nothing much has changed. We're just uh, doing the do. And our side chest, side chest, arms looking juicy right there, innit? Looks like we built a bit of the old fucking arm gains as well, so everywhere it just looks like it's got bigger. As you can see, the same again as last week. Pretty good. The face, don't even ask what's going on there. That is absolutely woeful. But it was early. These were taken at quarter past six. Side tricep, side tricep pose looks pretty good here, doesn't it? You know, we've got everything going on. That'll be a really nice pose. Yet again, getting in this pose without the mirror, sometimes you forget to crunch down on those abs and you sort of to blow out and you, your stomach's going. So it's really, really important to try and 
keep myself learning that and that's one thing I'm doing especially in this phase gonna get it down to a T so by the time it comes up to pushing up again we should be fine and then you get really fat and you can't really see your shape anyway then we go to our back double bicep yet again you can see what's going on here a lot more going on the back's looking good we've got that abductor we've seen what we can build there's a little bit more leg in there you can see it's pretty good you know this is a great position we're holding here at the 212.7 range and um very juicy so this is going to probably be near enough the starting weight we will be when we push up uh back lat spread probably could have brought my hands lower further back and pulled them right round um just for trying to really uh waist looking a little bit better there um it's still a really good pose and uh you know sort of blow out a little bit harder if you blow out really hard you sort of see your lower back come out a bit better uh moving on we have got our most muscular so you see i moved because it was just like as you can see if you go if you look at the other poses we just looked at that is blinding this is actually really nice because you can see everything i'm more lit up and what's going on yet again posing without the mirror you can really see that i've got i'm holding one shoulder up than the uh, up higher than the other because i haven't corrected it because i haven't seen so that's another thing when we come into the pose it's about coming here and phew, the worst thing is do not look down because when i look down i bring my arm up because i'm making sure my legs are tense I mean, tense your legs. When you're leaner, you can feel it better. So when you're our stage lean, you do feel it a lot more. But you come in, just poof. So that's one thing I've got to do because we don't want that shoulder to be raised. But other than that, cracking pose. We can see more abdominals. I think the light makes our obliques look a little bit better because they're getting the lighting on them. However, you just look better. Better pose, in a better position. And um, really try and hold as much tissue as we can. Keep numbers going up while we're on this cruise. Front double bicep. Fucking brilliant pose. Coming on here. Looking juicy, hitting this, nothing's really much changed. Um, so yeah, that is the check-in. The whole idea of this phase is that oh, we're obviously still going to try and get a little bit leaner because what we want to do is get then push up from there because when I have been the leanest, I've made the most progress, which I really feel and it really does work. Especially that you can see you keep your shape a lot more and then you push up and then you do get too sloppy, you can come back down. So that is that. That's been sent off. We'll get the feedback. So that should be pretty good. I think I've covered all areas. Training's been awesome. Nothing's changed. Obviously, you're on a cruise. So if you know what cruising, you know what cruising for a bruising means. And everything seems to be fine. No issues. So we're loving life. Fucking the watch was being a tosser. Tell it off. Comment below, watch us being a knob. So I've got to get, I had to get up early anyway, which was awesome. So we got up early, um, I've had my pre-workout meal now, but I'm working till 10, but it's like just really late in it. One till 10, that's fucking shit. You know, never, well, that's fucking long, man. I never do, I never do that long hours. I know some of you guys might work 12 hour shifts and you think that's fuck all, but what I do, I don't do that. Don't come that early. Do you know what I mean? Bollocks. But. There's no one else in the building who could do anything. It's just me. So I've had to bite the bullet. And I did was like, what's going on here? And then I got explained it to Because you know what I mean? Bodybuilding comes first. So what we've done to combat that, we got up early with Chanel. I've done my check-in early. Sent that all off. I'm head of the game. It's currently like 20 past 8. And I'm loving life. We're a beast. I feel fucking fruity. I'm going to get myself more water. Fluid, fluid, fluid. Then we're going to boom it. About nine o'clock, go to the gym, train legs, get fucking huge, and then just come back, chill out. Uh, probably won't have time to chill out, to be honest. Get a shower, and I'll take my bag that's full of food. I've got all my, oh, look at this. Look at this beast. Yeah, that is like food sorted. I've got food sorted in there, as you can see. And in my fucking bag, I've got literally pretty much all my fucking post-workout food and all the other bits all sorted. So all I've got to do is boff, get there, eat post-workout meal, Boom, done. And that'll all be done within an hour of finishing. What a beast, probably about half an hour. Have a shower, 10 minutes, probably about 40 minutes. You know what I mean? Don't give me your excuses when you don't have time. Because I'm doing it all. I'm showing you how it's done. <laughs> Back in the hot seat, boom. And feedback, boof, straight there. One week into the cruise, operation hold the mass. That's uh, that's what the, uh, I said that earlier on anyway, you know, that this phase is gonna be about trying to maintain and hold the mass that we have built then when we can obviously push back up, we can push back up. And we because we're in a tidy situation, we'll be in a really good pit situation to fucking smash it, which is going to be really good. Uh, obviously, I, I was saying that we felt a little bit, um, I didn't say to you guys, but I just feel a little bit more sore than usual, a little bit more beaten up. Just slightly, just slightly. Like woke up today, I woke up, it was yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the day before when we did pull. I woke up and I just woke up felt, feeling a little bit more, ooh, especially yesterday, today waking up. I don't know if that was because I woke up early. Sometimes you feel that when you wake up a little bit earlier than usual. You feel like, oh, that sort of, what the fuck? Oh. 
Like you've you like you've had a fight, you feel a little bit like uh, had a bit of a you that buffed your head a bit like that and you feel a bit uh there may be a plan D load going in. Uh so we'll keep you guys in the in, in the nick. I am gonna go train now, so I'm gonna get it on. It'll be a good fucking day, regardless. I'm still fluiding up. I'm still getting like gammy mouth. Do you see that white shit? Dry mouth. Dry mouth like smoking for fucking joints. Quality is shit. When you've got these fucking, compared to that sexy light we have inside. I tell you what, laddies. So the last time we spoke was this morning before training. Fucking hell. Trained. Great session. Oh my God, it's cunted me. Guys, I've just been cunted by the light. And Jesus Christ. I've just finished now. I didn't have to have my power nap. But look at the state of my bags. It's pretty fucking funky. I've got one more meal left. Today has been madness. But I've shown you how it can be done. Even though I didn't film before, because I was in a hurry, I'm not going to lie to you, I literally had a shower, got me shit, packed all my stuff up, and it was gone out the door. Post-workout meal, boff, was in, as soon as I got there, boom, easy. I already washed up my stuff because I'm a geezer, and I'm going to show you my last meal, and also what's going to go on for the foot and on to the next week. Yeah, you just got excited then, didn't you? Because I'm being busy. Oh, keep going, go on. Yeah, go on now. Yeah, keep going. I've got a good view, but I'm only filming your legs, you see. I can't see. I can't see. Yes, our kitchen floor was dirty. Do not judge us. What? <laughs> Let's get stuck into feedback. So you guys are going in for fucking next week. Stop, mate, because you made me swear then. So going into next week. So, back in the hot seat. I'll bring you two. More my watch is on 10%. It's 22 fucking 11. Back in, gonna give you the feedback right now. After legs today, we're gonna do a five day full rest again. Well, another deload of rest, so I'm probably gonna go up to about Tuesday. Tuesday, my training pull, and uh, so I'll have a few few nice days, four or five days of rest. Full day of rest, lovely, just just keep resting uh, as it's, it's getting needed. Um, I'm feeling slightly more sore. I think I said earlier on, I was feeling just just sore, more more sore than, than usual. Because we're always feeling sore, there's always something that is sore, like your body part. Because you're, you're fucking, you get your, your PB in the week, and you smash it, is that be a rep, if that be a fucking bit away, you know what I mean? I ain't fucking about. Uh, he does say, plus, uh, with a cruise, the MRV will take a hit. I don't know what that's abbreviated, so if someone hits me in the link, someone hits the fucking into the comments, what that would be. There you go. Do you know what I mean? We're learning every day. We're learning every day. So yeah, and obviously we go on to say, and you can't wait for uh, for me to prep. It's good, to be honest, it's going to be interesting. We're very interested in see what we look like. Road 2021. It's going to be fucking cool. I ain't fucking around. Getting huge. Holding the mass. Yeah, I remember it from this morning. Been a long old fucking day. It has been a long day. Feeling kind of fucked. I'm not going to lie to you. However, like I said in the car, I'm showing you guys how to get shit done here. Not full time fucking bodybuilding just yet. And I can say how, how I did it, what we're doing right now, and it's on record. So in like two years time, I can go, go back to the Balkan series, version one. Yeah, the original, week 22, or 21, whatever it is. And you're like, ah, oh, he was on a cruise. And when he did this, and he did that, and he had a massive long day, and he still got everything done, and PB'd. That's right, PB'd the day, didn't I? <laughs> Once again, week in and week out, I ain't fucking around. Six plates, I'm coming for you. I'm fucking coming for you. Ah, team, ready for an edition of me with my fat belly out and my pants. Got my arms there, poof, poof. Got a few veins coming. You've also got a small belly. Shut up, it's massive, everyone can see it. We're having some Greek yogurt, berries, and whey. This is the last meal on a training day. We used to have oats. We did have oats in this meal, we pulled them out. Operation Hold the Mass is we just stick into what we're having with our food. No divvering off. That's what we're doing. Nickname this video Operation Hold the Mass. All right, let's get this biffer on the go. Look at this beast. Last meal done. 65 grams of these. We're going to cherry. There's those hour. Because I'm trying to prove my point. Look at this, look. Oh, look, you can see all my drugs behind me. That's, that's very essential, that one. Vital support. Very essential. Here. Looks like baby food. It looks like shit to be honest. Shut up, it's amazing and it'll get you massive. Like Chanel, what are we doing? Eating. Holding the mass. Why? Because you need it. Blah. 
Shut up, you biffer. I cannot see shit. Can you see me? Does it look okay? This is gonna be the new place. Yeah, uh, end the videos. So, you've seen what's going on. We know what we're going into next week. We know we're going into a deload. You know you're gonna see some good shit. And we're holding the mass. That's what's going on while we're in this cruise phase. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you've taken something from it. You obviously can see that even when you're on a day like today, like me, where we're really like struck for time, we can still get everything done. Even record a video. And the ring light, it makes my eyes look like a zombie. I'm not possessed because gingers can't be possessed because we get massive. <laughs> now on that note, I am actually cream cackered because it's half past 11 and I need to get to bed. And I'm not getting up till eight o'clock tomorrow to have some of that. <laughs> All right, like, subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Get massive.